the official position is that marijuana is a dangerous drug with no medical benefits. This simply isn't true, it's false. You know, it's fraud, it's a lie. The federal government is spending about $20 billion a year uh, enforcing drug laws. About two-thirds of that is on marijuana. So you got about $15 billion a year right off the top federal bucks that can be saved. A law that vast numbers of people choose to disregard without any concern for the consequences, as far as I'm concerned, is an ineffective law. What we are trying to do is to change the face from a pothead loser to show that the real face of who we are are people like me. I take nine pills in the morning and I take eight pills at night. They knock you out and then when you wake up you're so groggy and so drunk that you, you, you cannot function, you're basically immobilized. I'd much rather do the marijuana. We're not talking about legalizing drugs, we're talking about giving another option to doctors who are educated enough to know what to prescribe and suggest for their patients. I am very, very ill and um, without cannabis, I would be dead right now. It's used for a wide range of conditions, stress reduction, it's used for insomnia, it's used in treatment of asthma, it's used in antidepression. I took mycelin, dilantin, phenobarbital, percodan, and Valium. And still, my seizures were not controlled. And it wasn't until I started using marijuana that seizures diminished. Until now, I live a life completely seizure-free. Hi Lisa, this is Valerie Corral calling from WAM. Our organization is comprised mostly of people with AIDS and cancer. For most of us, it's not a choice. I can't live in a persistent chronic pain state. They're not fucking around. They put me in jail. These people can do whatever they want to do. And don't kid yourself, they're going to do it. They came in as if we were the biggest meth laboratory in the world. He put the gun to the place in my head where my brain injury is. The, the taxpayers really want to spend $24,000 a year keeping someone in prison because she was being nice to people. You know, they say, what was Joe like? I said, well, you'll find out. I think that it's time for everybody that doesn't support medical cannabis to understand that we're here we're not going away, and it's time that they all better get used to it.